Hi, this is the first video of my plans to make a LEGO computer game that is fully mechanical and hopefully will not use any assistance from things like an NXT or an EV3. It will be driven primarily by binary logic and the basis for this binary logic will be an axle rotating either clockwise or counterclockwise which will correlate to ones and zeros. This here is an example of an AND gate working on this principle. The gate has three inputs and one output. Two data inputs and a power make up the three inputs. And the design for this gate is far superior than many others. First off, it is powered in both states, so external power is not needed to interpret a signal such as a zero having no axle movement. Secondly, due to the clutches, the input and output are completely isolated. This is a problem for other designs where the resistance of each gate is passed through to the next one and by the time it is through just several gates the torque needed is too high and this will either break the components of the first gate or will cause the first gate to just stop working such as gear teeth skipping. With this design the power is taking all of the load and each gate is powered separately. This doesn't mean the power coming in must be very strong, but it is easy to design around that rather than stronger gates. One downside of this design is the cost as it requires many parts. Another downside of this is because the clutches only rotate a little before reaching the desired position is that a friction clutch is needed because the input doesn't stop rotating and a friction clutch can wear out. A third downside is that because of how complicated the gate is, the delay between inputs changing and the output changing is significant. However, this is easily overcome by increasing the rotation speeds. Moving on to the most important part, the screen. The screen will have three states, snake tile, an empty space tile, and a food tile. Each tile is about 2 inches apart and the resolution will be 16 by 16 tiles for a total of 256 tiles. Of course, this means the screen will be massive, about 30 by 30 inches. I am hoping to be able to run this at about 1 update per second, however it will most likely be slower. This project will be massive and expensive, however I have designs and ideas for much of what is needed so far, and I have not run into a problem that would cause this entire project to not be possible. If you are interested in this project, please subscribe to stay up to date on this, and also, you're cool. Going on the technical side, the screen will basically be the RAM where moving towers will both read and write. The most challenging part will be the tail, which needs to set the current tail location back to an empty space and then move to the next tail location. This is quite easy on paper, because all it needs to do is store the direction inputs that the player is putting in, and if food is eaten, store that input but do not move, essentially adding a turn on a list without taking one away. In practice, this is hard to achieve because this means you need to have up to 256 possible turns that you can store at once. I have a few ideas for a mechanism to accomplish this, but if they don't work, I do have a backup which will use an NXT and a light sensor and have a track for colored balls where the color represents direction and the light sensor will read the ball and probably output to motors. However, I would prefer not to do this. Like I said, I would much rather not have to cheat with like a computer like an NXT or EV3. I would prefer all this to stay mechanical. This being said, there are going to be a few non-LEGO parts. However, I'm trying to keep it limited. Most obviously, I'm going to have a giant, probably stepper motor uh, as a main like axle power source because... Lego motors are expensive. And I think I might use pneumatics in this. 
which I will probably also buy a small compressor as well. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and if you found my channel, what are you doing here? How did you get here? Who the hell are you?